Hello YouTube, this is just another toy review on the Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Arts Nappa. Now, I got this figure only because he has to complete my set with Vegeta. And for being a very bulky figure, he's not that bad in articulation. So what we're going to do is take him off of the stand, take a good look at the box, and then take a look at the six accessories and then take a good look at this figure now looking at the box it has a window style packaging with a nice photo of Nappa Dragon Ball Z on the bottom side of the box some of the poses you can get this figure into bottom and then the toy animation sticker to show that this is not a bootleg looking at the faces he has the scouter face he has a screaming face he has a grunt smiling face and then he has what the heck are you doing face and then he has fisted hands chop hands uh his fingering hands and then his i don't know what you can call these kung fu style or gripping hands i wish they gave him more of like a just more of like an open hand open hand grip for better poses but i mean this this can do and then if you're wondering his head comes with these pegs so that way when you put it back in the box it doesn't shift all around and he also comes with a stand let me just zoom out he also comes with a stand and a nice translucent fireball effect which i really really like articulation wise it is not that bad um he does look up really good he looks down that much that's also a good amount that's really good he does look side to side he does have the up and down hinges on his um, armor and then his shoulder can lift about only that high maybe if I work around it yeah about that high there's a bicep swivel he has jointed double jointed elbows but it only gives you about a 90 degree range because his bicep is so huge um he does crunch forward that much crunch back that much um he does have a swivel at the waist and then he does have a drop at the leg right there where you can kick fairly high um he has double jointed knees and then he has this really cool uh rocker let me just show you real quick it's really cool he like when you put him into a dynamic pose his ankle rockers are really good like look at that and it, it completely flats out on the ground so i really like what they did with the ankle rocker there so for the most part he is very articulated um my only gripe about this figure is he cannot can't get him to cross his arms at all because his chest is so massive he does have a butterfly joint which i forgot to mention but you kind of have to play around with it to make it come out let me see if i can do it right now there we go so he does have a butterfly joint which is not bad at all um but it's very hard for him to uh let me see if i can do this uh, connect his hands he can't really like touch his hands together that's like the farthest you're gonna get so that is kind of a bummer that you can't have him touch his hands together but just looking at the detail it's really nice i like i, I, I like the figure and there's slight shading in the skin uh, not not a bad figure size like. comparison i think napa is the second largest figure compared to broly and Broly is towering over Nappa still. Another size comparison look. Nappa is the second largest figure of the SH Figure Arts. Being that he is still towering over Goku. Works in scale with Vegeta. And still is way shorter than the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Broly. So yeah, I, I love how... These figures all are accurate to the anime in size comparison. And with all that being said, Nappa is a great addition to my SH Figure Arts collection. I was kind of on the ropes for a while about if I should get them or not. But being the fact that I've got 
the uh, Scotter Vegeta 2.0 figure, I had to complete him alongside with Nappa as well. So, just my opinion, guys. If you already have the version 2.0 Vegeta, get the Nappa because they will look great on the shelf side by side. I actually had a lot of fun playing around with Nappa's articulation, and I'm really, I mean, for the most part, happy that his articulations were good. Just my only gripe was that he can't touch his hands together, which kind of bugs me. Anyways, tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you guys are going to get them. Uh, check out our website. It's frankinculture.com. You can also find me on Twitter, 63kennyboy. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel for I am always posting new toy reviews. Thanks for watching, guys, and you guys have a great day. Enjoy the picture.